Welcome to the office. So, you're coming here from Chicago. Yeah. Originally from Jersey. Yes. What's the issue? Um, I saw a, chiropr- a chiropractor in January of 2021. Okay. After being very interested in the, the practice of chiropractic. Okay. Um, I initially wanted to see you. Just figured I would try starting local. Um, and it didn't go well at all. Like, I, I was never the same since that visit. Um, like I said, my neck, my entire body felt off, but my neck especially. Do you know what you got adjusted? Why I did? Do you know what you got adjusted? Oh, everything. I remember it was literally like my neck, my ankles, like everything. Were you told what the issue was? Like you had full spine x-rays or any x-rays taken? Uh, just x-rays. Regular um, x-rays? Yeah. And any analysis done as to what your issue was? Sacrum, pelvis, L54, 3, um, 2, 1? I think it was primarily just the fact that my head sits forward compared to the rest of my body. So you have anterior head carriage? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You still have it, by the way. I know. I know. Uh, I could, I always felt it. I could, yeah, it's been a problem for many years, but it never, I never had issue because of it. Whereas after that, after those two visits uh, with that chiropractor, um, that's when they like, when I had issue. Like I never had issues with spine, anything. And I used to hear a lot of people having back pain, neck pain. I was just like, that's So why did you go? Just about a year, uh, a year prior, um, a friend of mine was seeing a chiropractor. He's like, he told me that oh, one of his legs, lengths were different, and I, I kind of suspected I had the same thing. So I was just curious about it. I went to a local guy, two visits, mm. um, the same one that my friend went to, and nothing happened. Like I didn't think of anything of it. It was just it was a cool experience. I was like, oh, this is cool. You had that experience, then you went to somebody else after that. Yeah, um, I waited quite some time. I tried a holistic PT, uh, mm-hmm. like all types of PT, like trigger point therapy and the rest of them. It wasn't like your typical, it was one-on-one PT. Okay. Um, because I was very traumatized by chiropractic care after that experience. I saw another chiropractor in New York. Uh, he really helped me out um, with my neck. He got rid of the, the neck pain. He got rid You of, can turn now? Now I can turn both ways. Every now and then I'll have like a little bit of discomfort, but before it was like compromise where like, I couldn't turn, whereas okay. now it's like I can full turn even if I feel something. Mm-hmm. Here's what we're going to do. So right now your major complaint, just so we're clear, yeah. today is what? The major, like in terms of pain or discomfort? Um, it's a focus on my neck. Uh, my left shoulder clicks. Um, okay. I, every now and then I'll get like a weakness or discomfort in my wrist. Um, I feel like my grip strength, especially my left hand, is off. That's all five six, by the way. Okay. Okay. And I've seen, yeah, I've seen your adjustments where like people the notice grip. a big difference right out, like yeah, short in a short time. Um, That's the magic. Dude. Yeah, my wrist, this left wrist just clicks in a way. Okay. Um, I developed plantar fasciitis. I'm pretty sure after that chiropractor. Right visit. side, left side. Both sides. Um, I've never had that in my life. Uh, I thought I, I assumed this maybe after. Just after those bad adjustments, they just I don't up to think me. that you developed it after, but I think you're you were developing it anyway. I think whatever okay. happened, uh, you're feeling things more now, okay. or maybe you're a little more off balance. Okay. Or maybe you're off balance and you're still off balance. Yeah. Does that make sense? I right. want to be straight with that. You don't develop fascia plantar fasciitis that fast. Yeah, I feel I was because it was over the course of a year. I was like, maybe it was, maybe it did. Maybe I was okay. just set that poorly that it took short time but that's another complaint I had with okay. you. Okay. Plantar uh, fasciitis, you. clicking in the shoulder, weakness, Down my paresthesia left, like left, left side. side. Yeah. Anything on the right side? No. Um, no, it was always the left side and then the neck. Okay. Yeah. Um, Low back? Thank you for reminding me. Um, lower right side. Lower right side pain, discomfort? Um, not pain, there's more discomfort. Let's go over your foundation and let's see what are some of the things we're seeing. This is the right side, this is the left side. You can see that you have a measured deficiency or a, me- a short leg on the right. Yeah. You can see that the pubic bone does not line up with the crease of the bone. It's going the opposite way of the short leg. Okay. Um, you can see that the actual hip sockets are wearing out. Okay. For your age, there should be a lot more space in there. So let's look at your sacrum, and we do have a bent tailbone, dude, and it's starting right here at S5. Mm. So you can see this thing is bent right there, yes? 
Yeah. It's tilting right here. Yeah. And it's tilting this to the right side. The whole sacrum tilts to the right. Mm. You do see that? Yes, I do see that. Okay. Let me put the numbers up so now we can see better. This is a significant leg length inequality, dude. And this is what we have to discuss and see what's correctable and what's not. Okay. You have an ASIN on the left with a rotated sacrum on the left. You had some good tailbone injuries, whatever whatever stuff you were doing. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't recall anything, but yeah, I see that. They were old injuries. Yeah. These were back, back, way back when. Yeah. If I see this sacrum, it's rotated on the left and the pelvis is also off on the left, but you have a seven millimeter deficiency of the sacrum on the right. Mm. So this is what's happening with your pelvis or your foundation. The left pelvis goes up one, which mm -hmm. is fine, it's okay. okay, but it goes in, it turns and rotates this way to okay. the left side. Okay. The back side turns into the sacrum. Okay. So the, the pelvis is turned in and the sacrum is rotated back. Right. So the overall effect is your spine wants to go which way? To the left. Mm. But you have a short leg on the? Right. And you have a short sacrum on the? Right. Yes. Seven millimeters, you have 16 millimeter leg length discrepancy. Right. The actual difference is 13. Okay. And that means if we correct your left pelvis, then we're able to get three of that corrected. Okay. Here's the other cool part. Whether it's gonna happen or not, that I don't have the answer today. Okay. You have seven, milli seven millimeters of this is coming from your tailbone. Okay. So this, this needs to be under seven. We have a structural and functional short leg on the right side. We have a short leg on the right from a pelvic misalignment and a sacral, they call it sacral malformation. Okay. And we'll see how you respond within two adjustments. Sure. And then I can tell you, are things gonna be corrected? Okay. I can't say that because the research doesn't really support that. Sure. But I have hundreds of cases sure. that, that get fixed. Sure. I just don't know until we start. Right. Fair enough? Yes. Okay. So that's your main issue, dude. And that's number one. Okay. Now, here's, let's look at the overall spine. And we have a slight curve to the right. You see that, yes? Yeah. And it's curving on the side of the short leg. A heel lift may be indicated for you. We may have to put a heel lift on that right side for stability for all this to hold. Meaning a lift. This is a heel lift. And this goes under the insole of your right shoe. Okay. And we, because remember, we got to get that under seven. Is this a temporary thing? No, it's not a temporary thing. If it's not correctable, ain't nobody going to fix your posture, dude. This is mechanics. It's basic mechanics. Your building, your foundation of your building is tilted on the right. Okay. What do you have to do? Right. Just like a building. Right. Straight up, dude. I'm sorry, I got to be straight, that, that, but yeah. that's it. Anyone tell you otherwise, if they can't fix the imbalance, you need a lift. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay? Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. I understand. Okay? I got, I got to be straight. But the, the part is, at least we know, if... If we can't get that sacrum corrected, I don't know that we're going to get it all corrected. I've gotten four or five millimeters corrected on patients. Okay. The seven. Pelvis, sacrum. You have a rotated sacrum on the side of an ASI anilium, which does tell us to do the sacrum first. We got to drop down in the sacrum and torque it up and see how you respond. Sure. That's it. Okay? You got it. Next thing is your digestion is off pretty much as well. This is the Megan Blasey here. This should be a big half circle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we should have, uh, we're looking at the ascending colon. You could be absorbing and assimilating, assimilating a lot better than you are. Okay? okay? Now, here's the fun part, dude. You have a side slip here. That's why your neck isn't fixed. Mm -hmm. Your C5, C, so we have a short leg on the right, mm -hmm. but then when we go to your mid back, you had some traumas here. And the reason I know that is you have a couple of side slip vertebrae. And I'll explain what that is in just a second. Sure. This, if we look here, uh, T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that controls digestion. C T7, okay? T8 yeah. and T9 line up, the, the bodies of the vertebrae. T7 is a side slip. Okay. It's slipped to the right side okay, mm -hmm. with misalignment, but then six goes the opposite way, five goes the opposite way, so they're doing this, okay. 
seven, six, and five are all zigzagging. Okay. There's no stability there. So those muscles are all getting tight trying to hold it in place. Okay. So you get a lot of your stuff in here. I don't know if you feel anything. I don't anything. feel it, no. Okay, well then here's the interesting part. I'm not going to open a can of worms up today. But do you see what I'm showing you? This one for sure is slipped, but these are little subtle ones. It's starting at T7. I, uh, yeah, okay. Talk to me. Yeah, maybe I noticed it subconsciously, but it, it, doesn't, it never affected me, if that makes sense. Um, I think you've dealt with it for a long time. Yeah. I think you've been dealing with this stuff for a while. You just kind of you right. deal with it. Right. You accepted it. Okay. Okay. We have jaw deviation right to left. Jaw deviation right to left when you open your mouth. Your upper cervical is good. Okay. Let's go to your side profile. Let's give you the good news and let's give you the, yeah, there it is. So when we're looking at the tailbone, it should be a smooth arc. You got a kink and a nub here. Mm. Okay? Yeah. This was an injury, dude. Okay. This was an injury. There's a nice nub kink there. Then let's look at the disc. L5 tilts back, four tilts back, three tilts back, two, one, 12, all the way to 11. Okay. So from T11 to, from L5 to T11 is all compensation. You really shouldn't be getting any of that adjusted. So all of this mm -hmm. from, from here all the way to here, that's all compensation from that low back. Okay. So I know it ain't supposed to touch any of that right now. Okay. So if we go closer now at T11, you saw what I showed you on that x-ray. Yeah. So T11 is the next level here. So this is 12, this is 11. Mm -hmm. Now from 11, the next one that goes off is gonna be what? Uh, 10. Yes. Now the next one to go off is what? Nine. Yeah. Nine goes the opposite, takes everything with it. Do you mm -hmm. see that? Right. So if 11 is our level, 10 goes off. Oh wait, hold on. Nope, never mind. 11 is, is in balance with? 12. 10 uh, is in balance with uh, that. Ten, okay. So let's go here. Is that in balance? It looks like it. No, it's uh, slightly, oh, it's, it's subtle. It's okay. very subtle. The subluxation isn't the one that looks the most out. It's the one that's subtle. Look, is that level? No. Mm. It's nine, dude. Okay. It's T9. And T9, this is a good case, dude. It's not as easy as it looks. So T9 is the one. T9 is the one that's taking all these out. Okay. So I'll correct myself. While that's there, I start working on T9. You're going to start feeling all that other stuff. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. So this is a sacrum issue. This is a T9 case. Okay. Now, if we're talking about the neck, yes. let's go to the neck, dude. Yeah, okay, you got some, some uh, small disc, uh, loss of disc height. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping right now on what you're telling me, though, dude. I guess everyone's got a different intention. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So, yeah, that's, that's what you were getting worked on, C5, C6? Yeah, mainly. Because it's a small disc? I think so, yeah. Okay. So, here's the thing, guys. Why is that one wearing out more and all these other ones are fine? Let's look at the, at the motion studies. Did you get motion x-rays taken? Mm, yes, I did. Okay. Did you see the difference in flexion and extension? So this is you in extension. And you don't have a lot of, ex you have extension in your neck, but you don't have a lot of extension here in your spine, cervical okay. spine. Okay. Here's your answer, dude. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. So two, three, four. So five didn't move. I agree. Mm. But six didn't move either. But, but neither did seven. So the answer isn't starting at five, six. The answer is below. Okay. So x-ray wise, T9, C7, and S4, S3, S4. That's what I see. Okay. Okay. You ready for the spice? Yes. You like the spice? You eat spicy food? I do. It's going to be a little spicy. <laughs> You understand what I went over, sir? Absolutely. Are we ready to get started? Absolutely. Let's do it. How's it going? Welcome back. Thank you, man. It's going well. Very it's, well. It's round three. Yes. Have a seat. We need to have a conversation. Yes. 
So we started filming that first visit and for some reason we lost a little bit of sound. Yeah. So we're going to recap just a little bit. Sure. Well, we're going to get straight to the exam and talk about results. Okay. But the main question I have is when we're looking, we talked about your foundation mm. and you came in for neck mainly. Yeah. Back, neck. I mean, you had some stuff. Yeah. But your main issue was like my neck and my left arm, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Any change in your neck and left arm since we started? This is visit number three. Um, I don't have any sh um, discomfort in my neck, like sharp pains or anything like that come and go. Uh, like you said, it all starts at the foundation. You didn't touch my neck. Um, I haven't touched I started neck. to notice that like, I feel like a little bit of a, not even a soreness, but I feel like, like, like you said, clearly we didn't even go near my neck, but um, I feel like I'm walking different. Uh, you feel something is shifting, like you're using different muscles or yeah, posture, that's exactly something what it is. is shifting. Exactly. Okay. And um, you did go to a couple guys and yes. that's, that's fine. You're coming from Chicago, yes. originally from New Jersey. Yes. And the main thing I want to talk about, I'm just going to recap the x-ray for sure. a second, okay? Sure. And when we look over here, guys, sorry, when we look over here, folks, this is what we see. He has an ASIN with a rotated sacrum on the left side. He has a seven millimeter uh, sacral malformation is the terminology that's used, but it means that we know he had a tailbone injury. He's got a measured difference of 16 millimeters right to left. Correction of the left pelvis will make it 13. That still needs to be under seven. If he didn't have the sacral malformation, he'd be fine. That's why we're starting on the sacrum. Now, he does have neck issues. If you look here on this x-ray, you can see a slight little bend on that right side. In this case, it's a good thing because it, it could warrant that heel lift. And you asked me, is that a permanent thing? It may be. Okay, and what's the other option? Getting adjusted every week or twice a week? No. The idea is we stable the foundation, then the things up here we can deal with. He does have a mid-back issue. He does have neck issues. But as we, on the first visit and even the second visit, when we adjusted his tailbone, all this started to clear up. So let's see what we got today. Okay. This case, everyone, I want to share something. Okay. This case is is it is a difficult case um you know looking at it just without any 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 markings you know we do the gonset pelvic analysis but looking at a case like this taking a full spine but you have to go a little bit deeper and detailed into the examination of not just the patient but the x-ray and the x-ray to me it tells the story it's a picture in time it tells me how the person has evolved since birth it even tells me a little bit how you were inside the womb. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of doctors that can look at it this way. And one of the things we talk about here with everybody is we spend the time, you know, going over the x-ray. We spend the time that first visit really communicating what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's that, I remember that movie Hitch. Remember that? Did you ever say that movie Hitch with Will Smith? Yeah. What do you say? 70% is body language. 20% is tone, 10% of the words that come out of your mouth. Yeah. So I'm going to share a little secret with everybody. Yeah. I listen a lot in the in the consultation, yeah. but I'm doing the 90% over the 10%. Yeah. Because the 10% you already put in your intake form. Exactly. Yeah. Smile, dude. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> He's smiling on the inside. You ready? Absolutely. Let's do this, dude. Thank you. Starting at the base of the neck. Don't know. It goes to the left, 25 points. Goes to the right, 20 points. Goes to the left, 15, 18 points. Breaks at the top. A lot of chatter. You're right, things are shifting around, sir. Mm -hmm. A lot of different swings going on. Mm -hmm. And when you see that on the scope, or when, sorry, when I see that mm -hmm. on the scope, right. it tells me that muscle activity is firing. Mm -hmm. T10, T11, left side, 10 points. Doo doo, doo doo. 
We're doing good here, dude. We're doing good. Four points. Cool. Let's check the motion of that pelvis. Feet okay. together. Yes, please. Feet together. Scoot forward. Open and close the knees with your feet touching. Open and close. Open and close. Right side only. Good. Left side only. Left is a little bit different, dude. Right side only. It's a little bit different. We can actually compare this to the first visit. Mm. Okay, scoop back for me, please. Do do. Back slowly. Five. One. Two. Three. Tender. Yeah. Four. I think three was the more most. We started on four, didn't we? No, we started right there. Yeah, that's tender. Okay. We're gonna continue on three. Okay. Slightly on the left side and okay. then we're going to recheck sure we still i think we may start on this mid back today okay sure one two four five six seven eight nine eight more tender nine more tender nine. ten more tender nine more tender uh, i'd say ten uh, they're very close now if they're both tender we're gonna go with the bottom one, okay? Sure. It's like if we have two bad joints, we don't wanna adjust one bad joint over another bad joint, do we? T10, S3. Let me go to the x-ray and let's figure out what this T10 is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. T10, oh, this is interesting. Because it's down like this is like this, this is like this. 10. So this is the line here. And this is the line here. And as you can see, the wedge is on the right side. The pedicle is bigger here, smaller here. So it's gone back, turned this way, wedged on the right. This is a PLI T10. Let's do sacrum and PLI T10. S3, S3, slightly on the left side. Slightly on the left side, torque up, up. Nice. Very nice. Not as crunchy today. I think it's time for the cobra. You're gonna get a little bit of the cobra today. There we go. There you go. So, still on the sacrum. Actually, we're not doing the cobra. We're gonna do a, we gotta get a lot of torque in it, sure. okay? Yeah. Let it roll. Let it roll forward, forward. There's the rest. Nice. Gotcha. Come on up. Yeah. Walk it off once, please, or twice. And then we're gonna go on the knee chest table, okay? Yep. And we said we got a PLI, so we're gonna be on the right side today. Right side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten spinous, we're going to the side right on the transverse, and we're setting it through through the joint. You good? Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. That's the home run, baby. Nice. Step away from the vehicle. Yep. Nice. That's why. That's true. Walk several times back and forth. Diferente. Just, it felt like it was just a good dust. Okay. Yeah. Sit up straight. Yeah. Now, this is how we want it. And what I would like in the next, as we're working on this T10, I would definitely love for you, it to hurt you to slouch. 
Okay. That cleared up top, by the way. Nice. All that chatter is gone in your head, dude. Nice. T10 is also part of the adrenal system, the fight or flight. I call it the B button. Okay. 10 is clear. Sacrum is clear. A little buff and polish for you, sir. Then we'll do the shoulders. Five, four, three. Let's do the right shoulder. Let me do the work. How you got? Drop, drop. deeper today yeah stand up for me please mm -hmm. squeeze the hand solid squeeze we ain't messing with it okay i think we're gonna do a little nose job today sure on your back over here please all right this may be a little pinch okay sure chin down chin down so it's a little tight there Right to left. That's it. Breathe in. And out. Go ahead and sit up for me, please. Sure. Walk it off one last time. Yep. So we're going to regroup now. I'm off tomorrow. You got it. We're going to regroup on Friday. Okay. And Swiss. Okay. okay. Yeah. We'll regroup on Friday. Make sure everything's good? Sure. We'll decide if you're going to stay an extra week or not. Okay. You're able to if we need to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy your day. Thanks so much, man. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome.